Hi, today we'll be doing two projects using Node MCU. So, what is Node MCU? Node MCU is just a development board, and this particular board is called ESP8266 because of the Wi Fi capabilities. So, for the first project, we are going to turn on an LED with serial monitor that is just command lines. And for that, we need a Node MCU, LED, and a resistor, and maybe few wires. So, let's get started. Firstly, we need the Arduino software installed and this is the code we'll be uploading to the Node MCU. So firstly, let's break down the program. Our LED will be attached to pin 13 that is D7 and then it keeps checking if the serial connection is made. And once made, it will display the message input 1 to turn on LED and 2 to turn it off. As the user inputs the value, it checks uh, whether it was 1 or 2. And if it was 1, it would provide high voltage to pin 13 and then display a message LED was turned on and if it was 2 it would turn down the voltage and then display the message LED turned off so let's connect our ESP uh, using a data cable and upload the program meanwhile it connects let's build our circuit for this I am using a breadboard to make our connections easier uh, let's connect our LED we just need to keep note of the positive and negative end and then let's connect a resistor to it I'm using a male to female uh, jumper wise for this. Okay. So once uploaded, uh, we could connect the ground uh, that is the negative part of the LED to ground, which is G on our board, and the other cable to D7. And let's reset. Okay, currently the MCU is running the program and let's uh, open our serial monitor. Okay, uh, we could try resetting again. Okay, it displays a message 1 to turn on LED and 2 to turn off. Okay, let's try 1. Okay, you notice that uh, the LED has turned on just by using a serial monitor. So let's turn it off. Press 2. And it's off. Okay, so we are controlling our LED by user's uh, input, 1 to turn on and 2 to turn off. All this took is just few lines of the code. So now let's get to our next project. So for the second project, we just need the Node MCU board and we'll be building a client server communication project using TCP. So let's get into it. The next project is a socket programming and this is the code we'll be using. Uh, firstly, we need to uh, fill in our Wi-Fi details. So what it basically does is it connects to our Wi-Fi and then displays a message connected and then uh, it prints out the IP address of the Node MCU to which we could connect using our Telnet. So once the Telnet connection is uh, built, it displays a message client connected and then we could communicate with each other using client read and client write and once the connection has entered, it displays a message client disconnected. So let's upload this to our Node MCU. Okay, that's uploaded. Uh, let's open our serial monitor. And let's change about to what we set, uh, which in this case is 115.2.0. And then let's reset. Okay, it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. And it's connected. And this is the IP address of the Node MCU. To connect using Telnet, we first need to install Telnet. Uh, it is available in Windows feature. Turn Windows feature on and off. And then we need to scroll down to Telnet. Okay, I have already installed Telnet. If it's not installed, we just need to check it and press OK. And then just search Telnet. Okay. The command to connect to an IP is O. And then we need to provide the IP address 192.168.43.1.0 uh, We also need to provide the port which is uh, double eight double eight. Then press enter. Okay, it displays a message client connected. Okay, uh, so anything I type here gets sent to our, our Node MC. I wrote hello here, but then it's uh, sent to our node MCU and we could do the way other way as well See we got a high here 
The benefits of using a TCP server is uh, it's reliable, it allows multiplexing and even duplex. That is, it allows two-way communication uh, between client and server. I hope the projects were clear. Uh, ESP8266 is definitely a board with large capabilities and I intend to keep exploring it. But uh, that would be it for today. Uh, thank you for your time.